plus a fresh light pasta recipe perfect for summer. You and me returns right after this. Good morning. Now, if you're thinking Italian food is a little too heavy for the summer, there are some simple ways to lighten it up. Terry Rempert is the chef and owner of La Buona Vita in West Suburban LaGrange. He joins us now with a recipe for a warm weather favor that uses farm fresh vegetables. Welcome to the show, Chef Terry. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Rachel. Very nice to meet you. And I hear Me we're too. making a homemade pesto sauce. We today. are making a homemade pesto. I love it's my pesto. Favorite. It's a great dish because you really serve pesto at uh, room, you know, like room temperature. Um, so to make the pesto, uh, you take. You've got your basil. Okay. And a couple cups of uh, we put it in a food processor. And even though this is an industrial processor, uh, you can do anything like this at home. So nice. you take uh, you have basil to keep the green uh, of your uh, pesto. Mm -hmm. Basil sometimes has a tendency to turn dark, so you put a little. You can either use spinach or parsley. We're using parsley. Uh, you have brown pesto. Well, we got a lot of garlic. Couple, a couple, couple well, a couple cloves of garlic. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're using pecorino romano cheese, but you can use any hard cheese, parmesan or any other pungent uh, hard cheese if you want to make a variation yeah, of it. Manchego. Essential. Essential. Um, maybe a pinch of salt, and then pine nuts, which we've uh, toasted already. They're good to toast. Okay. You put them in a pan and cook them for uh, about one to two minutes, just to brown them up, gives them their flavor. So you put that, you put everything here in a, uh, in the... So you do that all first before the olive oil? Yeah, you do this okay. all first just to kind of get it um, chopped up just a little bit. It's so easy. It's so simple. So easy to go buy store-bought pesto, but this is so much better, especially if you want something fresher. healthy, fresh, and light for summer. Right, and it's just, a, it's a simple way just to, um, you know, simple way to put it together. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you'd have your pesto. So then we'd have uh, the other thing you could do with your pesto dish, like we've got one already, you know, finished, but you can add some shrimp to it. Uh, again, uh, saute, yeah. some, saute some shrimp or, or grill them, uh, and that works. And, you know, variations on pesto. We, you can use arugula. Uh, you can make spinach pesto. You know, there's there's all sorts of ways you can do with yeah. pesto. So appeal to your different health needs and all kinds of things. Right, and all this is available. You know, right now, uh, either in your garden or in your market areas. It's right. all it's all fresh and being grown. You know, being grown locally. And tell us a little bit about your restaurant. Um, we're a northern Italian restaurant in Lagrange, uh, La Bona Vita. We uh, specialize in, obviously, you know, uh, homemade pastas are big things. So we make like the linguine pesto that you see here. Uh, but we make all our own pastas in house. We yeah. have our, uh, so that's the one thing that makes us a little more unique. Uh, and you had a grand reopening recently. We had a grand reopening a few months back and kind of redecorated, redid the menus and highlighted, again, going to uh, pastas and, you know. Well, you have some of the new items here. So while the shrimp's cooking, I see we have caprese salad. This is from the new menu? Uh, yeah, that's all part of, you know, just, you know, being part of the menu. We have um, we have the caprese salad. We have um, what's that meat sauce? Is that meat it's sauce? It's bolognese. That's a penne. Bolognese. It's penne classic. bolognese, classic. Uh, which is a classic, you know, classic sauce. Then we also have um, our grilled calamari, which is a, a house favorite. It's again, it's a nice light. It's a nice light dish. It's grilled it's, with that it's lemon simple. zest too. Yeah, and oh, it's yeah. got a lemon garlic uh, zest on it. And then bruschetta. The nice thing about uh, like bruschetta, you know, that's done as, a, as an appetizer, but you can also make bruschetta, use that same uh, tomato recipe, which is just, you know, tomatoes, some red onion, some garlic and olive oil, uh, and put it on top of the same thing. You can put it on top of the linguine and uh, serve it cold, and it's a great light summer pasta dish. Again, all of those ingredients available, you know, at your market. And so many times when we go to uh, American Italian yeah. restaurants, they're a bit heavier. Uh, northern Italian dishes seem to be a bit more simple and lighter. That's correct. You know, we, um, they, you know, we, they have a little bit of lighter fare, a little more seafood, and um, you know, things that are, are are nicer for the modern day diets. And something that goes good with seafood, wine. You have wine, a wine yes. pairing going on. Yes, we have a wine dinner uh, coming up uh, this Tuesday. Okay. Uh, it's a Northern Italian wine dinner, so we're featuring all these all the wines here that you see are from uh, Northern Italy, and we're pairing them up with. Uh, Various dishes, so uh, it's a, it's a nice it's a nice event uh, that uh, tickets still and tickets are still available. So 
Yeah. All right. Wow, that, it all smells so great. I cannot wait to dig into this. For more information on La Buona Vita or tickets for the wine dinner, go to LaBuonaVita.com. Chef Terry, thanks so much for being with us this morning. No I know, I want to try some of this pasta. All right. I can smell the shrimp.